what's up guys and welcome to the channel today i've got something i want to talk to you about but first look at andrew's bumper so andrew has the uh, issue with the saggy front bumper so as of right now we are trying to get this thing straightened out all we did was take this heat gun heat the bottom of the bumper up and put some pressure on it with this board try to straighten it out as best as possible so we'll see how that looks here pretty soon once everything cools off we'll check it out but it's not really what this video is about in this video you're going to see us roll andrew's fenders and a couple other different things but i wanted to tell you guys we do have our shirts in i got my shirt in anyway and uh I'm not very happy. Andrew's got the shirt on right now, and I will show you guys what it is I'm talking about. So if you look real close, uh, this does not look good. This looks really bad. It's almost like a pinkish kind of color. Um, and this comes from teespring.com. Yeah, that ain't you know, good. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad like quality. I'm not scared that the you know it's gonna come off or anything like that, but it's supposed to be bright red. Andrew, stand by the car right there and let me just to kind yeah, of. Yeah, so as you can see, like that's red, red, and that's almost like a pink. Overall, like I said, I don't think anything's gonna, you know, it's not gonna come off or anything like that. So we have an issue. So far, I think we've only sold four or five shirts, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is suspend the store for right now. I took everything out of the store until I can get this issue addressed. I think what we might have to do is either go to a solid gray or like a solid white logo. And the guys that have the two-tone Fox, if we can't get this figured out, you're gonna be the lucky ones, <laughs> the only ones with that shirt. So like I said, looking at it right now, I'm not digging it guys. And I kind of feel like I jumped the gun on it, but I just assumed all the big YouTubers, you know, they use Teespring and all their shirts look really good. I uploaded a really high quality image. Uh, and whenever you upload, like it tells you whether it's gonna be a good quality, excellent quality, bad quality. And mine was the best quality that you could get. So I feel, you know, I felt pretty good about it. But as I'm looking at it now, guys, this is not gonna work. So I do apologize to the few of you that have ordered these shirts. Um, hopefully yours look better than mine. But as it is, until I can come up with a better solution, we're gonna have to do something different. I can't get the shirts made myself and ship them out. So I was really looking at that third party, you know, to be able to ship them out for me and handle everything. Um, so anyway, we're gonna look into it. I'll see what I can come up with and I'll update you guys here pretty soon. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see what Andrew's bumper looks like. Mm, not really. It didn't really help. See, his bumper sags on one side over here. Uh, he may just end up having to get another bumper. We tried, guys. It doesn't always work out. Uh, I may work on it a little bit more and put a little more pressure just over here on this side and let it sit. But as it sits right now, it doesn't look like that's going to work. Uh, it was either, you know, he's going to order a new bumper or we could try to fix it. So that's what we were trying to do. All right, well, that didn't work, but we're going to get back on this, get started on it, see what we can come up with. So since we had a sag on this end, we're just kind of putting pressure on this side. Uh, we're actually lifting it up higher than what it needs to be to kind of compensate because it will fall some. I don't expect this to work, but there's a possibility that it will. We got Andrew's car squared away. I'm about to show you what it looks like, and then I'll tell you what we did. So of course I didn't bring the camera out. You know, we just kind of got to it. Sometimes it just bees that way, but, um, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the bottom of his car is now pretty straight. Like it's got the perfect little crown in the bottom of it down there. Everything looks pretty good. So what we did was we took the bottom apart down here, took the screws out so that the bottom of the bumper would lay down. We cut a board like this length right here to put inside of it to kind of just, you know, force it to straighten itself out. So uh, what we're gonna do is leave it in for a little while, probably put some heat on it a few times, eventually, hopefully take the board out. You know, $400 he doesn't have to spend now. As you guys can see, there is a board up under there. It's essentially just a brace. 
to go in there to straighten out that bumper. We're gonna try to apply some heat to it. We're gonna force it to conform to that shape and hopefully we can just take the board out. But anyway, guys, that's what you gotta do sometimes in the Fox body world, unless you just have unlimited money to blow and spend as you would like. Sometimes you're gonna have to do stuff like that. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and attempt to roll his fenders on his car. Uh, like I told you before, they're kind of rubbing on the tires a little bit. Now, we're going to use the bat method, the baseball bat method, you know, heat gun, tap it with a hammer. And the reason why is because we don't need a lot. Uh, he's barely rubbing here, and uh, he doesn't have any sharp corners or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys the technique that I use, but be careful if you're using this because you can you can actually buckle the fenders out the reason why we're going to go ahead and do it now is if something did come up and we did mess up you know we are about to paint the car and we can fix it then we can address it if you take your time on this more than likely you'll be just fine there's a couple different ways you can do this but i'll show you guys the way that i like to do it first andrew found his uh center cap andrew what happened to your center cap did it fall off I just forgot to put it in. <laughs> andrew just forgot to put the thing in so he's been riding around like that for how long now over a week. See how it's bit down? Yeah. Oh yeah. That yeah. thing's angled down way too far. So we're gonna go ahead and try to fix that. What I'm gonna do is stick the small end of the baseball bat in like this. And we're gonna just kind of come in. You're gonna pick the baseball bat up. And what we're gonna do is just slowly start to get that edge rolled up, at least flat. And then at that point is when things are gonna really require some heat. But for right now, like I said, since this is angled down so much, we basically just want to get it back out flat. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start on this. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just finding the, the low spots and just kind of coming in and working those back up a little bit. Uh, you just, you really just need to feel this out. You don't want to put too much pressure. I mean, I literally could push up on this and bend all that metal back, but that's not what we want to do because you're going to risk cracking the paint and you could bow this outer lip out. We don't want to do that. So right now, like I said, just trying to put a little pressure on it to get everything back leveled out. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's it's slowly starting to, to lay flat. And that's that's my whole goal right now with the, with the small end of this baseball bat is basically just to get it flat. Like I said, once you really start rolling these fenders under, you really need some heat and the car is really going to need to be jacked up and get up under there like that. I'm going to say this now because I didn't say it before. Uh, obviously, a fender roller is the best option. I'm showing you guys the baseball bat method because it does work. You just have to be really careful. And we don't have a fender roller. Yeah, and we don't have a <laughs> fender roller. Um, but another thing with this is I mean, you can absolutely get great results with this. And also a fender roller, um, you know, you can mess your shit up with that too. <laughs> I know because I've done it. So yeah, if you get greedy, you know, you're gonna mess up with anything. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And this is gonna be the same process just over and over again until I get this to lay flat. And then at that point, we'll get more aggressive with it. You scratched my car, I'm scratching you. All right, you ready? See guys, this is so easy a four-year-old can do it. All right, we are looking a lot better than we were now. So as you guys can see, basically just get it in there and just kind of work it up a little here, roll it, and then just kind of work the low spots up. Uh, that's not perfect by any means, but what we're gonna do now is, is start getting a little more aggressive. So uh, at this point, we're gonna need to apply a little bit of heat because I'm gonna really start trying to roll this, this inner edge up some. Now we're not gonna fold these all the way in. So they're not gonna be completely folded under. Um, right now, all we're trying to do is just make this thing not cut his tires up. So uh, it's gonna take a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. All right, guys, so what we're doing right now is just heating up the metal right here and the paint it makes it a little more flexible. You don't wanna you know, hold this thing too long because it will burn the paint. But uh, he's just gonna work his way around. Then we're gonna take the bat, use the big end of it, and lower the car down on top of it. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. 
All right, so Andrew's gonna lower the jack down and we're actually gonna lower it on top of this baseball bat. You wanna put some pretty significant pressure on it and then you just start the same process, which is just rolling. And as you can see, it's rolled. It's rolled really nice. But the key to this is having heat on it. So after this pass, we need to go ahead, run the heat gun over it again, and we'll do this a couple more times. Now, I'll tell you guys, I never go past about right here because at that point, you're going to get into where you, you can see this. So, you know, even with the car on the ground, you're going to see from about, you know, right here down. And we don't want to see that, so I'm not going to roll that. We're just going to blend this in to about right in here. Everybody say hello to Camly. This is our newest edition. This is the one you guys have not seen much of. Hey, Cam Cam. She's chilling outside with us for just a minute while our mom's doing something. But anyway, guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of massage this. I can't really show you everything because, I mean, this is gonna take us a little while to do. But at this point, all you wanna do, you can come in with like a, um, like a dead blow hammer and just barely like tap if you got any high spots or low spots, I should say. Uh, there's just a lot of different things you can do come in with a file file any sharp edges off keep going if you want to go But anyway, I just wanted to cover this. This is how I do it I know I'm gonna catch some flack for using a baseball bat, but that's okay. It all works the same You just got to know what you're doing. All right, we're gonna wrap this up I'll show you what it all looks like when we're done Didn't scrub on the other side Didn't scrub over here. What right there? <laughs> Guys That is some fitment yo I mean, I don't think it's got anything sharp. That's worst case scenario right there too. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead, massage on that just a little bit more, and we should be good to go. We just need a little bit of clearance. And like I said, that's kind of worst case scenario out there the way it is right now. But that is gonna wrap this portion up on Andrew's car. Uh -huh.